So now we come to example number two. Remember property equality for logarithmic functions. If b is a positive number other than one, then the log base b of x is equal to the log base b of y, same base, then the arguments must be equal to. So x has got to be equal to y. Well, x and y are the arguments of the logs. The logs are the same, then the bases are the same if they're equal. So let's use that with example number two. Suppose you have this situation. And this is the exact situation. So here are the log, the arguments must be equal if the base, if the logs are the same. So that means x plus 17 must be the same as 3x plus 23 because the logs have the same base. So we can solve this uh, pretty easy. We can, we can do many ways to do it. I'm going to subtract x from both sides there. You can do that. And I'll just might as well do a double transform because that'll leave me with, I can get rid of this 23. So let's subtract 23 from both sides. We'll just do it all. Let's say that you can't do it all at once. All right. When you, when you finally clear all this up, you're going to get something like this. Of course, you know, I can go ahead and cancel that out, and I can cancel that out. So that means my final answer is here. I'm going to end up with a negative 6. I move it right there. I bring down my equals. And then I have a 2x. So I can divide both sides by, let's clone this. Well, let's get it. Let's uh, clone this and divide both sides by 2 to isolate x. So let's underline that and grab a 2. I don't need another 2, so I might as well get it. And then let's see, let's go ahead and underline this one as well. And let's go ahead and divide both those by 2. And that's going to give you our final answer of negative 3 is equal to x. All right? And I'll go ahead and code that in green. And make a bold. All right. So that's example number two.